Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cece and if you are new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So in today's video, I'm going to share the four ways to make ornaments out of the mini Jengas from the Dollar Tree. Ornament number one, you can either start painting the wood one by one or start gluing the wood together. In this case, I'm going to glue three in a row to create a shape of a square. Repeat as needed if you want to create more. Then I'm going to paint the wood with a chalk paint all over and just let it dry. Once it's dry, I'm just going to use this ribbon to wrap it around the wood. Put a dab of hot glue on the wood and please be careful, it is really hot. I'm just going to make sure that the ribbon isn't going anywhere and try to keep the ribbon straight. Once it's dry, go ahead and trim the ribbon. And right here, I'm just creating more. So if you feel like I'm going fast, please feel free to adjust the speed settings on the video and or you can go ahead and pause the video. Then you can start decorating if you'd like. I'm just going to add some berries, ribbons, and tiny beads on them. You guys can put whatever you guys have or whatever you prefer. Now I'm just going to add a ribbon to finish our first wood ornament and I cut these ribbons at 6 inches. So I'm just going to put a hot glue on the back of the wood and then I'm going to place the ribbon and hold it there till it dries. You guys, these are so cute. I know they are simple looking but I'm so happy how these turned out. I just love them. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to ornament number 2. Okay, so for this ornament, I'm going to make a frame and I'm going to glue this together. Once it's been glued, I'm going to use these markers to tint my wooden frame. And they will look like this. And I've tinted a couple more. And right here, I've cut up some foam boards and this will be the backing for the frames. And I size these foam boards a little smaller than the frame as you can see when I place it on top of the wood. Now I'm just going to add glue on the foam board and then place it on the wood and just let it dry. And if you have a Cricut machine, you can add decals to place on the frame. If not, that's okay too. You can always print or write on these with markers. Now I'm just going to add a twine and hold it there for the glue to dry. How cute are these? What do you think of this one, you guys? I just love them. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on to ornament number three. So for ornament number three, I'm going to add some glue and I'm going to create a smaller frame. I'm using a chalk paint for the wood and I will link everything I use on this video under the description box so make sure that you check that out. Once you're done painting, I'm just going to let it dry. I got some garland from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to make mini wreaths by wrapping the garland with my finger and just twist it around. Then cut the garland and just trim the greens around. I'm going to glue it on the frame and just decorate the frame however you'd like. You guys, I don't know which is my favorite, but I love how this turned out. Painting the frame in red just makes it so much Christmassy. I just love Christmas. This is definitely going to look so cute on a Christmas tree. So for the final ornament, I'm going to glue three in a row, then place one on top horizontally and one more on the bottom. Once it's glued and dry, it's going to look like this. Then I'm going to use these tint markers from the Dollar Tree or any wood tint you prefer is just fine. 
I'm just going to mark or tint the wood all over. Once the wood is dry, I'm going to add decals to place on the wood. I've already weeded the adhesive vinyl and I already have the transfer tape on there. All I have to do is place the decal, burnish and remove the transfer tape. Now I'm just going to add a twine and hold it there for the glue to dry. And that's it. Alright you guys, I really don't know which one is my favorite, but let me know which one is yours. Leave me a comment or give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. You guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys!